The floor plan of the Cathedral of St. Paul is in the shape of a cross, a Greek cross to be specific, that is, four equidistant arms that come together under the great dome. The dome is actually a double dome structure. Most buildings that have domes have such a feature in order to help channel the weight from above down onto the pillars below. The pillars of the Cathedral of St. Paul are decorated by art, statues of the evangelists Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. In their Gospels, they tell us the life and teaching of Jesus, so they are literally the pillars of the church. The triangular spaces above the evangelists are pendentives. That is, they are the spaces that regulate the vertical thrust down onto the pillars and the thrust also horizontally from the different arches. They are decorated by mosaics from the Vatican Mosaic Works, each one 22 feet high, containing tens of thousands of tiny pieces of colored glass and stone called tesserae. They depict the moral virtues, prudence, temperance, fortitude, and justice. These moral virtues control our relations with one another, just as the pendentives control the relationship architecturally of the different spaces around them.